That was definitely one of the most challenging ones. <laughs> I got myself a freaking squirrel. Freaking did it. Finally, freaking did it. The sauce is awesome. Who knew a squirrel could taste so good? Dude, that's really good. That's really good. It's finally hunting season. So what I'm gonna do is I've been able to collect these bird feeders. Somebody put them out on the road. That's what we do around here. We don't throw stuff out. We don't really do yard sales anymore. What we do is we put out on the road things that we don't want anymore. Can you see where this is going? <laughs> I'm thinking I can hang them up behind the cabin here and get squirrels coming all into the trees and then shoot them with the slingshot. If not, I've got the 22 as always. So last year what I did was I tried to shoot them out of the front door and that didn't go so good because every time I opened the door, the squirrels scatter. So what I'm thinking is I can throw like say the bird feeder up here in the tree or maybe over here in the tree and maybe they're not gonna see me open that window right there and I can I can pick them off. It's gonna be a little bit of long-term project. I wanted to start this early enough so that the squirrels would get comfortable and used to coming in here to feed. Yeah, make a meal out of them. So that's the idea. The second option is to do what we last year which was to put a bunch of corn down here but i don't know if i can make that shot to be honest with the slingshot i'm i like i'm all right with the slingshot but i'm not great so last time i was sitting out here for probably like an hour uh or two just waiting for those squirrels to come in down at the log here but uh for now let's get these bird feeders up in the tree and we'll see if we can't get a squirrel to come in all right that looks good make a little bit of a mess squirrels like mess go put that there you guys see that sight line right here that's the window we're talking about here we should be able to open that five yarder we should maybe make it level this is like the exact wrong way you want to set up a bird feeder if you actually want to get birds in there you know the squirrel could just run up and down the tree we got one more this is the this is the big prize this might be the 22 shot i think it'll be kind of fun to watch me miss a little bit because you know if i hit any of these bird feeders with the slingshot they're just gonna freaking explode. I'm going to uh, take the other bag now and we're going to put it down at the old spot. That'll be the 22 spot. And we've got a bag left. It's only eight bucks a bag for 50 pounds. So how can you go wrong? We'll easily turn that into probably a hundred dollar squirrel meal by the end of this thing. We should maybe make it level. Oh, now that they open the bag, I got to use the wheelbarrow. I'm going to spill it everywhere. Plus I'm lazy. They're smart. You decide. So last year we uh, collected lots of black walnuts, but it's so early in the season they're not ready yet. We'll add some black walnuts later. I think this is going to be super 22 shot because, well, it's like 35 yards from the cabin. Um, and then there's the bunkie I might be able to shoot from, but it's pretty far away. It doesn't really have a sight line over there. That's good. A little bit more. How do I do? Feeling rednecky. I don't know why, but hey, we're squirrel hunting. I think that's what rednecks do. You're gonna. Oh. Okay, so camera armed, well, armed, unarmed. <laughs> we're gonna put it up and we're gonna see if there's any squirrel activity. It's a perfect way to monitor this thing. The squirrels are starting to get busier and busier. And I think, you know, in a couple more weeks, we'll get those walnuts rocking. Browning just sent me a bunch of new cameras. They're spec ops. This isn't a spec ops though. I'm saving the spec ops for the coyote because they, they're sketchy. They can tell the light from the camera. This is just the regular one, but Browning, super good. Brand new card in there. So we got a preview screen here. I'll probably try to move it a little bit freaking closer. Let's get right up, right up tight to these squirrels. Only got 33% battery power left though. So that's not good. All right, we'll leave this here. It's like deer hunting. You gotta make sure you take the vantage point. So check from here. There's maybe, maybe one more branch we gotta get rid of. These ones here, gotta go. Let's see if I can't do this for a shot. And drop that down. This is a simple shot. You guys can pick this up on the website. Woodabeersman.com slash shop. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an ordeal to shoot squirrels with the slingshot. I know it. I'm gonna carry it around every time I deer hunt. And then when they walk by below the tree stand, I'm gonna pop them. There, just like that. We'll give it, I think we'll give it uh, two or three days, maybe four days, maybe five days, I don't know. Kevin's out here all the time, so he can keep an eye on things. If he knows there's lots of squirrel activity,
Well, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm gonna come check out, see what's going on see activity wise. I don't know if I've waited long enough or not. I guess we've run clean through. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what's on the camera right now. All right, so mostly it's uh, Kevin so far. Oh, there's a black squirrel right away. He's in there. And then after that, there's a lot of blue jay, blue jay, blue jay, mostly all blue jay here. And then we get into some red squirrel again near dark. And then we got some nighttime stuff, which is kind of weird. Is that freaking red squirrel? It's a red squirrel in the middle of the night. And then it comes back in next night, it looks like. And <laughs> it's crazy. I've never seen a red squirrel be so active in the night. Like I didn't think they were active at night, but here it is. It's like 150 impressions, it looks like of this freaking red squirrel at night, basically eating up all my freaking batteries. <laughs> and then back to daytime and that blue jay's there. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if Jeremy shot all the blacks and gray squirrels from here, but all it is is red squirrel and blue jay. I mean, we'll make a meal out of the red squirrel if we have to, but it's not a lot of meat there. It's mostly fur bearing mammal and we can uh, collect that and sell it for a buck. That's what the, the fur's worth right now on the market. Well, I realize it's been a while since I had an update. I haven't been feeling good for the past two and a half weeks. Honestly, I think since I got back, I got poisoned uh, salmonella or something from that goose I picked up and handled. Then I ate snacks on the way home, so I was done. Uh, so I haven't filmed any squirrel business, and now we're into the deer season, so I got my bow. But I also got my slingshot with me. So I figure if I can't get a deer, I could probably get a squirrel, at least a shot at one. The uh, feeders here haven't been doing so good, but I got a secret weapon. I stopped in and I grabbed some black walnuts. And these things are like freaking magnets. You literally put them anywhere and within a few days they're gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the squirrel stand and I'm gonna spread some walnuts around. See if we can't get one to come in. I got a, a chair here. <laughs> it's really a short chair because I actually, what I did was I cut the legs off of it so it's going to fit perfectly up in this tree. Tree. Ah. <laughs> the only problem is now I got so much freaking stuff. I got to figure out how to get it all out there. So I'm probably gonna have to pack this camera up. I'll meet you out there, give you the scoop. We'll see what happens. If we don't see, if we don't get a deer, maybe we'll get a squirrel. I even forgot my freaking rubber boots. I got freaking sneakers on. So I hope I don't get a soaker. All right, I'll meet you over there. I so saw as I was saying, we brushed in the squirrel stand. I just threw the black walnuts down here on the tree here. Boat, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 yards from the squirrel stand. Oh man, this is freaking awesome. I should have done this earlier. Backrest, this chair, freaking sweet. I actually can't really see over the edge here. It's so well bushed in, but that also means nothing can see me up here too. And there's lots of dry leaves down there. So all I'm gonna do is listen for stuff to happen and then I'll peek up. But this is perfect, it's like a squirrel nest. The idea with the walnuts here is they smell real bad. They smell very strong, they got a very potent, and it carries a long distance. So squirrels will come for a long ways to grab them. So I'm hoping just throwing out a handful of them Maybe every time I come out here, I'll entice them to come back. I think you hear a squirrel barking at me over here. I gotta stop moving around. Yeah, there's definitely one barking at me. We'll see if we can't get one with the slingshot. That's gonna be my goal. It's gonna be a tough one for this year, but if I bring my slingshot every time I deer hunt, I'll get one. A lot of people think that you can just go out in the woods and uh, hit a squirrel right away and squirrels are easy to hunt, but that's not the case. If your experience of hunting squirrels and thinking that you can just go out and grab one is that when you look in your backyard, you see a squirrel, you got another thing coming. These squirrels are smart, they're crafty, they're busy and distracted, they have ADHD. So that's basically where you can get them. I can tell you, I've gone to a tree stand and they figure you out. You get one or two shots at them and then they'll avoid the area completely. But let me tell you, hunting squirrels with a slingshot is one of the biggest challenges of this year. It's one of the hardest things that I've done. And granted, I'm not a great shot, 
And if I was a great shot, I probably would have had a much easier time, but this video wouldn't even have come about if it was an easy thing for me to do. I have a recommendation for you guys. If you guys want to squirrel hunt, try it out of a tree stand, bring it out with you when you deer hunt, make use of those dead hours before the deer start moving. And from my experience, the deer aren't bothered by the sound of the slingshot. Most nights when I've used it, I've had activity from deer afterward. Put the slingshot away in the last hour or so of light, just right around sunset, half hour before, and you'll be golden. <laughs> well guys it's freaking hot out it's uh it's the gun hunt i can't even put my hunter orange on i'm sweating like a monkey <laughs> up in the tree here i figured i might as well get some sunshine it's uh high noon but i got nothing else to do so i'm gonna try to get myself a squirrel and maybe i'll even get myself a deer who knows it is the rut so anything could come through here at any time squirrel deer Whatever. Got a bit of a makeshift blind here. I'm hunting deer over in the corn. I'm hearing tons of squirrels back here. But every time I slip back and try to shoot them, it's kind of an open pine area here. They always bugger off when they get up in the trees. I actually see a black, a black one there. Let's, I might be able to get a shot at him. He's just up in the branches. Wait, wait a second. No, I didn't. I freaking got him. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I freaking got him. I can't believe that. Finally. Yes. So much freaking work went into that. So much effort. This is one of the hardest things I've freaking done. Of all my challenges this year, I don't know. That was definitely one of the most challenging ones. 
<laughs> I got myself a freaking squirrel after all that work. And it's a black squirrel too, which are, uh, they're super rare by global standards, but they're not rare by uh, our standards here. They're just a variant of the gray squirrel. And uh, they, they're hypothesized to have changed colors or whatever with a variant to uh, actually stay warm in the northern climate. Oh man, that was, <laughs> that was a lot of work. That was a lot of fun. And the only reason I did this was for the freaking challenge. So I got a whole meal planned out. I hope you guys will stick around for that. We're gonna turn this squirrel into a delicious freaking meal. Rare black squirrel, man. Nice. Freaking did it. Finally, freaking did it. Well, there we go, guys. There's all our ingredients. We got the main squeeze here. We got the turbo wadobo turbos, mega mega. If you don't want the turbo, you can go with this one beardsman.com slash shop we got the slingshot of course was the major weapon we got some olive oil and then inside the pot here we have some butter we got some potatoes we got some apples and we got some onions we're gonna put a quick sear on the squirrel and then we're gonna let it cook for a couple hours that's the best way to eat any wild game is cook it down otherwise it's going to be chewy hey right, guys you want to learn how to do a squirrel Clean a squirrel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off. We're gonna get the head off here. There we go. All one shot. Each arm, or each foot, I should say, not the arm, because the arm's got the meat on it. Basically, all four legs plus the head. And then I got a secret weapon up in the tree here. A pair of scissors. Now I learned this trick a while ago. It'll save you a lot of grief because if you're cutting loose skin it wants to just go where it wants to go but if you have two cutting devices at the same time then you can easily cut it so once you get all the way through just gonna pull both sides and it should undress oh pants off dance off this is not a cooking show i should just cook in the bush honestly i can't make it look great it's raw and real Somebody, somebody told me the other, the other time, they're like, that's not how you peel an onion. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? How do you peel an onion? I just try to keep the most amount of onion on the thing. <laughs> Whatever happens after that. All right, ready, Mr. Squirrel? She didn't explode, but she's plenty hot. We're gonna throw our onions in there. Some of our onions. Some of them are gonna fall on the floor. This has to be super, super low for super, super long. If we want this to be anywhere near tender. Okay, that's it. Oh, actually I want to show you something real quick, so follow me. So this is what I want to, I want to show you this real quick. This is a cool product Sniper Sling puts out, snipersling.com. It's, it's an arrow. It's an arrow shot out of a slingshot and it's actually super why well, I'm gonna say super dangerous, <laughs> but it's it's expert mode uh, slingshotting, put it that way. The owner wants to set up something where you can do uh, fishing with this. I think that would be awesome. So do that and send me it. I want to try to do slingshot fishing. It's gonna have like a reel on it and everything, or like some kind of string. It's gonna be cool. Hang on, I gotta set this up. Okay, I, as I told you, it has a hand guard. So here's the hand guard. It's actually got a metal plate in there. Some people don't use this. Uh, they recommend you use it, and I recommend that you use it. The last thing you want to do is stick one of these things in the back of your hand. They're super sharp, and they hook around the band there like that. And so what you don't want to do is, as it's going, because this thing whizzes past your hand, you don't want to get it in the back of the hand, because that will hurt. And I didn't try this with a squirrel for obvious reasons. First of all, I'm not a good shot yet. Uh, second of all, I don't have quite have the aim on this as good as I do, <laughs> as good as I do with the slingshot. Even that's not that good. So you want to make sure it's seated in there nice and good, and then you're just going to pinch it with the, your thumb and forefinger. Make sure it's locked in the groove there, and then make sure your hands are all covered. Get your aim down and then release. And it's simple as that. Put that link down in the description. This isn't a paid sponsorship. They just wanted me to try it. I thought, hey, why not? Looks like fun. As long as I don't get the back of my hand. Life's good. Let's go see if that squirrel is anywhere near eating. Oh, that's beautiful. It's nice and steaming. We could add a little bit of spice right now. Get the turbo, the turbo spice going right, right, right now. Turbo just means size. You can get it in the, in the small, small, less well, the small size, it's a regular size. Um, or you can get it in the, the turbo. 
We want it to be, I don't know, you probably can't see it's too dark, but we want it to be fall off the bone. And that's pretty much where we're at, but we're losing, losing liquid. So we gotta get more liquid in here. We're gonna add potatoes. Seems like a weird combination, but it's not. Potatoes, apples, and uh, we're gonna add a stick of butter just to get some more fat in there. We got lots of olive oil. Chunk of that. And some more adobo. That's it. I'm frozen. Oh, that looks so good. This is uh, Kevin. If you don't know Kevin, you haven't been watching YouTube because he's the next big sensation. <laughs> so, oh, Kevin from Modern Self Reliance is here. He's going to give a go of the squirrel. He hates wild food, but I'm going to make him eat it anyway because he's going to give you, if nothing else, an honest opinion. Is this cooked? Dude, it's fall off the bone cooked. I know, but it's a squirrel. Doesn't matter, you can eat a squirrel raw. Ah, uh, they can't. <laughs> you get some apple in there too. Apple, potato. Am I trying this, is it hot? It's probably hot. Mmm. Oh, it's really hot. Almost too hot. That's pretty good. <laughs> this year's gonna be about pushing the limits and becoming better at things. Look, he's eating triples, seconds, quadruples. That's fur. There's probably some fur in there. <laughs> Subscribe or not, I don't care. I officially don't care anymore. I'm bringing it back, because I don't. I'm just gonna do things I like doing, things that are challenging, and this was a challenge, let me tell you what. That's really good. Spices are good, everything's good. Good stuff. See you in the next one.